In Consumer 10 tonight, 20,000 customers of WOW don't have cable, internet, or phone service tonight. And this is why. This is one of several fiber optic cable lines mistakenly cut by a contractor who dug where he wasn't supposed to. Joe Leppard took advantage of mild temps and sunny skies. I got to come outside and work in the sunshine. It's a beautiful day. Turns out she had no reason to be inside anyway. A neighbor was the first to alert her that something was wrong. They said WOW is out all over the neighborhood. No one has cable. Not just WOW cable, but phone service and internet was also disrupted. She gets all three services from WOW, which left her with nothing. Well, there's radio. <laughs> How will you remember 2013? Nine miles away, at the corner of East Broad in Miami, WOW crews discovered the problem. It looks like there was a telephone pole that was going to get replaced, and during that time, uh, contractors working with an auger and cut two of our fibers. Those lines carry hundreds of fiber optic filaments, which bring the cable, internet, and phone service to 20,000 WOW customers. Fixing them will involve bringing in new cable and splicing every filament, blue to blue, orange to orange, and so on. When it's all said and done, we're going to probably have to splice over a thousand different fibers together to get this going. It's a tedious and painstaking process that could take eight hours or more, which has WOW asking its customers for patience. Uh, we're working as fast as possible to get you restored, and uh, we look forward to getting it completed soon. With all the people that are having floods and hurricanes, this is not a disaster. <laughs> this is just a minor problem. And the outage also affected WOW's customer service line. The company is considering crediting customers for the lack of service today. They hope to restore all services by 9 o'clock tonight.